They certainly were, but I ha each of them were, yeah. But I've chosen Phil Mickelson's three wood with his Frankenstein three wood into 17. 302 yards! Incredible! Now he had to hit a draw here, so it actually favoured the left hander slightly, gave him a bit more distance. But you can see it running in there. Incredible golf shot. And you can see there's a bank on the left of the green as we look at it from this side. For him, it would be the right. So he had to hit the draw. Now the reason I chose this shot, and he actually went on to 3018. Marvellous round of golf, 66. Nice. Um, but the reason I chose this shot is so many club golfers, recreation golfers, have a very hard time drawing the ball, and I used to have a hard time teaching it. Mm -hmm. So I want to, you know, share at home um, with the, the viewers what I have learned. Now, right. I've got my, my sort of club face alignment sticker here. I've got a, a white stick on the ground here, Holly. You hold on. Okay. And what I used to teach when people would draw the ball was, you must get the toe there first. And I did get people to get the toe there first. And if you get the toe there first and hit an impact bag with the toe of the club, you won't slice it. But you can see here that face is looking well to the left of the target line. Now that's no good for a draw. This has been a revelation for us as teachers with launch monitors. When you want to hit a draw, at the moment of contact, the face must be to the right of the target. I prefer to say to the right rather than open is to the right of the target let's put a number on that holly mm -hmm. let's say that's five degrees okay. you leave that magnet very still for me at five degrees where yes. it was as long as the path of your swing you leave that magnet still now is more to the right than the magnet as long as you've got a differential there club face five degrees to the right i will say swing path 10 degrees to the right you'll get a draw now a draw is a ball that starts right curves back and finishes about on the target line that's the theory how are we going to do that well there's a couple of small changes you can make in your setup so i'll give you your three wood now Major. and one sort of in swing thought so I'm going to ask you to set up okay. as you normally would, and then I'm going to say, now look, let's put the ball a little bit further back in the stance, so you bring your feet towards me a couple of inches, Great. yes. Let's put the hands a bit further forwards, and in so doing, the face now looks a bit to the right. So we've got a good chance there of hitting with the mm -hmm. face. Back. And all I want you to do from here, Holly, is feel that your swing is a little bit lower on the back swing than normal, and a little bit higher on the follow through than normal. That's sort of twisting your plane to the right. So two of them are before you swing the club, mm -hmm. and the other one is just low to high. So the ball's back in your stance a little yep, bit. So I start here, move it up. Okay. Hands so, forward so okay. the club face goes to the right. Now low on the back swing, high on the follow through, swinging out to the right. And that's swinging. Ooh. Here she comes, you little beauty. My inner fill. Yeah, you might have Ooh. even overdrawn that ahead, but that no does problem. the trick. I That's can't tell you how many lessons I give that I wish I could give again, where I told people to get the club face closed at impact. It's not the way to do it, but now we know better. That felt awesome. It was tremendous.